I wasn't saying you've slept with 28% of American men. I was using an algorithm based on the blood test, which said there was a 94.1% chance that I'm the father. You're trying to publicly paint me as a slut and a whore. Believe me, I'm not trying to publicly do anything with you. Two million people read time. How am I It would I be more if they put me on the cover, but Dan Cocky decided to kidney yesterday. punch me. Dan Cocky decided to kidney yesterday. punch me. Dan Cocky kidney punch me. Daniel Cocky might not sound like a familiar name to you, but this guy who apparently kidney punched Steve Jobs played a very important role in the founder of Apple's life, far before he became the legend of Steve Jobs. This was our booth at the uh, Personal Computing Festival in Atlantic City in 1976. Here's a little background. Uh, Daniel Cocky says that the duo used to do psychedelics together at Reed College. They later moved to Palo Alto and worked out of a garage and they built the first prototype of the Mac. This one says number four. But their friendship had a falling out because of an important incident. Now, this was depicted in the new Steve Jobs film. We had the opportunity to sit down with Daniel Kaki. He opened up to us about this falling out and what it meant. From Steve's point of view, it was a kind of a falling out. I ever right. actually did not really know why particularly. What happened? Well, it was over a period of years and right. Steve's girlfriend got pregnant, and he denied that he was the father, and um, that was kind of embarrassing. As his friend, I thought that was chicken shit, to use a technical term, because hmm. he, he was pretty clearly the father. Hmm. There was an incident where Time Magazine called me up asking for verification that Steve had a daughter named Lisa. And I said, oh, it's not a secret. But that was the wrong thing to say, apparently. And Steve got very, very upset with me. And that, and that, that, that was 1990. That was 1983. Hmm. And even though I was working on the Mac team at Apple, he never really talked to me again. What did you miss about him when you guys stopped talking as much? Because he was a good friend. Yes, he was a good friend, but he had changed a lot. And so he was building his empire. I was just struggling to become an engineer. You know, Steve was very, he did me a good turn. I was a technician at Apple. Technicians are not eligible for stock options. I didn't have a stock option. At that point, Apple had already gone public. I just badly wanted to become an engineer, and so Steve hired me as an engineer on the Mac project. So, of course, I was grateful for that. Very grateful. 